Kids with esophageal atresia may need an initial repair of their esophagus and or airway at the time of birth or shortly thereafter. However, the problems and the issues don't end there. We have to be making sure that kids are able to progress with their eating and their solid food intake eventually and their ability to eat a regular diet without symptoms of food getting stuck or without symptoms of excessive reflux. And there are often other associated conditions with esophageal atresia that need to be addressed or at least monitored. And so when we treat esophageal atresia, we really look at the whole patient and we look at all of the needs of the patient. That's why at our center we have experts not just in endoscopy and gastroenterology, but also expert surgeons, pulmonary providers, feeding specialists. And we're attuned to the types of issues that kids with esophageal atresia have, making sure we're addressing things like reflux, making sure bones are healthy, making sure kids are developing appropriately in order to look at the whole picture and make sure that we're meeting all of the needs of the children with esophageal atresia.